start with uh, Ravi Kiran. Ravi Kiran, please come out from mute and say something about the issue. Good evening, sir. Yeah. Today's class and uh, yesterday's class based. You were given the scenario. Mr. X is X is raising a ticket tool ticket. And I want to resolve resolve as an SAP FICO. First, I will check the uh, ticket to ticket tool. Is it is it maybe a P1 or P2 or a P P3 or a P4? Within that time, we can uh, have uh, uh, response time. I I I I, I take it and uh, and I will check the. Uh, issue what it is what it is uh, is it may be based on the FICO or it may be based on the others I check it and uh, if it is if it based if it is not based on the FICO I will convert to convert it to the which uh, which the which the issue is based on that I will transfer to them or others if it is uh, or others if it is maybe an FICO I will check the issue. And uh, okay, and next uh, contact to thanks. Okay, next. Next ever jump taro. Sir, uh, hi, sir. Manjuna. Such a person na. Uh, hello, sir. Yes, such a person, please. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, whenever the ticket comes, uh, I prioritize uh, uh, based on the end, end user point of view. Uh, so, uh, as if it is a month end, uh, and I'll, I'll check the priority ticket uh, and see that uh, basically KV is a West upon production server. So when it is a production server, they need to uh, uh, the incident ticket should resolve as soon as possible. Like uh, uh, where they do take uh, approval from client level to manager and uh, all the management will be involved. So I try to rectify uh, as soon as possible based on the prioritized ticket. So first uh, I'll check the issue. What exactly whether uh, it is the error. Uh, due to uh, I mean passing the entry, or uh, is it some technical error, or it is a uh, uh, really uh, related to functional sort of issue? So based on that, uh, I do resolve uh, within the time levels as given by the client and management uh, based on SLA. Okay, thank you, sir. Next. Uh, hi, Hello. My photo in the line. Chapan, next sir. Hello, Hi. sir. Uh, sir, uh, based on uh, end user work based, uh, based on his priority and severity, he will raise the ticket, sir. Like uh, P1, P2, P3. Uh, uh, based on that priority, uh, end user will raise the ticket. Uh, that ticket is accepted by uh, consultant, sir. Uh, then consultant will check uh, that ticket error and uh, then he will resolve that uh, problem and he will get back to uh, he will send the uh, resolution to the end users. Okay. Thank you, sir. Hello. Yes. Next. S Sai Ram, sir. Yes. Sir, Sai, uh, I think already you told, right? No, no, no. Okay. I'm just. Sir. Uh, these uh, these problem rising the troubleshooting right in this one troubleshooting this problem the end user uh, given the ticket to us that time we will check the uh, service level agreement is this valid or not first point after that we will uh, is is this valid after that we will go to the which ticket we, he will erase it is this technical or functional if functional we will do we will resolving that problem within the timing 
if it is uh, if it is going to be valid and uh, is it uh, is it not taking the much time of the it means major error is it not a major error that time we will go into the resolve the this problem within the 15 minutes to 20 minutes that's it sir thank you okay so everyone explaining only one or two minutes but uh, i didn't see proper justification I... business answer sir yeah i said yes See, I told you already. So uh, we have we had already good session to yesterday. Okay, based on that session and today's session, please start, sir. Yeah. Uh, this this CNO belongs to JVs uh, for the end users. Okay. And this belongs to P1, which is uh, uh, solved within two hours. Okay. And it is a support project uh, who are going to take this issue and uh, solve within two hours. Okay, but I didn't see proper answer uh, still. Okay, so Praveen, uh, will you explain? Sure. Uh, see, this is being an uh, uh, issue which was raised by the end user. First of all, when he's putting it as an error, which he has noticed, he will go and raise this as an issue. Then probably he might be giving a P1, right? So whenever this issues comes to a support team, the first thing which we will be checking up is, first of all, we'll get that assigned. So I will look into that ticket. And if we think that it is a proper uh, kind of a thing, we'll first try to assign it uh, to ourselves and so that we will adhere to the response time metric. So that is the one metric which is critical uh, as part of the SLS, right, from the support team. Now, once that is uh, taken up, then we will start looking uh, a root cause analysis or a deeper analysis of that particular incident and try to see some of, uh, we have covered that, right? So whether that is a, uh, a technical error, right, which means because it is coming because of some system uh, issues uh, with respect to infra kind of stuff or it is a functional error because it's coming from the finance that is one thing which we will look into that if it is a fi co related one or if it is uh, something related to uh, other modules we will probably looking that analysis and assigning within internally we will be assigning to whoever the right person is so once the ticket is assigned, the way which we will be looking at is we have to now get that ticket resolved. So we cannot resolve that using on the production server, right? So we will take it back to the development server wherein we'll start resolve that. And then as uh, stuff uh, where we will be looking at, we will get that resolved and then take the same process of uh, transport uh, Transfer request, right? <laughs> Sorry, the TRs, right? The transfer request from one server to other servers so that we do that proper testing and get that resolved within the timelines. If it is a with can we if it's a P1, definitely we have to look and get that resolved within the four hours. And if it is going to be beyond, then we will have the conversation with the uh, project manager and the user as well and tell them, explain that what are all the things which we need to do and why we would require more time on that and get that assigned with the right level of priority. And once that priorities and stuff are taken care, we will be getting that ticket resolved in the development server and gradually moving it uh, to a, a pre-prod kind of a scenario. Probably if it is a really critical one, probably we may want the end user also to come and see whether whatever the issue which he is seeing is now getting resolved and get that push to the production environment so that the end user can start using it. So that's how uh, the process which we will uh, pick up. Anyway, oh, OK, thank you so much. Very nice explanation. Almost you read that. OK, but uh, what about the remaining people? I think uh, uh, they are even not talking at least five minutes, two minutes. Anyone? 
Hi sir. Hi sir. Yes. Uh, I'm Vamsi Krishna. Yes, yes, Vamsi. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, according to my experience, uh, which I have worked in a, a, a previous company, so when uh, even I was uh, worked as a SAP end user uh, in a vendor master data. Okay. So, okay. Uh, so uh, when I uh, means when there is a, uh, there was an ABAP error, uh, uh, something like that. Uh, when I am facing that, so we'll raise an uh, ticket. So and uh, when. Uh, so uh, according to the uh, these uh, today's and uh, yesterday's classes, uh, so I have learned that uh, what is the so how the ticket was handled by the consultant SAP consultant. So so when uh, the incident uh, incident uh, ticket was raised, so first we have to check uh, on what basis uh, the ticket was raised. So as you mentioned that we will uh, raise means the end user will uh, provide the screenshot and also he will provide the description so what is the issue he was facing and how much uh, CBRT and uh, agency he required uh, to resolve the issue so according to that we can know that whether it is a p1 or p2 or p3 or p4 so then we have to uh, assign the ticket according to the issue whether it is a fi or mm or st or something like that and uh, once we assign the uh, ticket uh, whether it is uh, suppose if it is an FA. So then we have to uh, respond back to the end user uh, within 15 minutes uh, so that we are working or something like that. We have to intimate to them properly. We have to communicate them that we are working on that. So then uh, we have to see uh, so whether the error was say technical or uh, functional. So whether it is a, uh, a, a system error something like that. So if it is in a, a technical error, so uh, how much time we, we have to analyze how much time it will take. So whether it, it will take within uh, two hours uh, if it is a P1 uh, it will, or it will take more time. So if it is uh, within two hours, then we can take uh, like uh, we can ensure that uh, uh, mean uh, resolve the issue. I mean uh, we can develop that uh, resolving the issue and uh, once it is uh, it can resolve so we can take it to, uh, to quality system i mean the testing type so then uh, once it was done then we have to in, uh, inform to the end user that it was resolved so could you please check once again so whether it was uh, again uh, any issue was there with this uh, system so once it was done then we can take that uh, uh, as it was resolved or uh, something we email from the association something like that so then we can attach that uh, email to the incident then we can resolve the issue sir. okay my satisfaction okay. almost correct uh, anyone hi sir yes name name please name Hello. Yeah. Yes. Uh, go ahead. Once. Uh, hello. Yes. 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 Suresh. Hello. Are you? Are you here? Yes. Yeah. You are audible. Please. Once go the user, once the end user raised the ticket, the SAP consultant. So once the use, uh, once the end user raised the ticket, then that supporting team he has to response. He has he has to response within a minutes. Time. If it is P1, P2 ticket, he should respond 15 minutes. If it is P3 or P4 ticket, he should respond 30 minutes. That means we will resolve the issues like that. And we will we'll, 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 we have to analyze whether it is functional tickets or technical tickets. Then we have to move to respective department to resolve the issues. Once the, once the, issue, once the issue has been resolved, then we have to send mail to the end user saying that the issue has been resolved. So this is my understanding. OK, guys, almost everyone explained uh, good, but not that much uh, level. So one person is explained fantastic. Um, but reminding all are OK, OK. OK, so anyhow. It is good to hear from everyone. OK, guys, the question is. How to rectify the issue? 
okay and the second one is what is the process to resolve the issues right so you take that now two questions make trigger yes in the question how to rectify the issue until issue in a lot is all charlie okay and the next thing and the process and issue is all to eat on a key process and okay you point to me can chop a little okay but uh, anyhow me to all over the chapter I'm on chapter you know uh, mass I mentioned you know uh, check up on matter just like so many key issue or not to me mind low over all the what kind of exactly this issue is what is the issue and then the mind or all of us okay issue so you should any types of major legal guy and the errors issue just like errors right what is the issue what is the error what kind of error exactly it is and a mindset to me condal first okay 